In Haiti, a wave of deadly violence struck the city of Pont Sandy as armed gangs carried out a brutal massacre, leaving at least 70 people losing their lives, including several children. The attackers, armed with automatic rifles, descended upon the town located in the fertile agricultural region of western Haiti, spreading terror and chaos. According to reports from the United Nations, the assault also resulted in 16 injuries, two of whom were gang members wounded during a shootout with local law enforcement. The violent raid did not stop there. The gang members went on to set fire to hundreds of homes, driving nearly 6,000 people from the area, now homeless and displaced. Those forced to flee the violence have voiced their longing to return home, but with the worsening gang attacks, many fear that such a return may be far off or even impossible. The massacre in Pont Sand is the latest and one of the deadliest examples of Haiti's deepening crisis, as gang violence has spiraled out of control across the nation. In response to this brutal event, Prime Minister Gary Keneal took swift action, embarking on diplomatic trips to the United Arab Emirates and Kenya to seek much-needed security assistance. Before leaving Haiti, Keneal promised the victims that justice would be served, pledging to send additional police officers into affected areas. He also vowed to strengthen law enforcement efforts with a focus on bringing those responsible for the bloodshed to justice. Reinforcements, including police units traveling from the capital Port-au-Prince, were on their way, and the Haitian government had mobilized resources such as helicopters to support police operations. Keneal emphasized that bolstering the capabilities of Haiti's police force was the first and most critical step in controlling the situation, ensuring that officers could effectively hunt down the criminals and restore order. Haiti's escalating gang violence has become a growing concern for the international community. According to the United Nations, since January of this year, more than 3,600 people have lost their lives to gang-related violence, a grim statistic that underscores the severity of the situation. In June, Kenya sent security forces to Haiti as part of a broader multinational peacekeeping mission, which is being funded by both the United States and the United Nations. However, despite the deployment of 400 Kenyan troops, the peacekeeping efforts have struggled to stem the rising tide of violence. Gangs continue to launch fresh attacks across the country, raising doubts about whether international forces will be able to bring the situation under control. The challenge of restoring peace in Haiti is complex, with gangs operating in different parts of the country, often outgunning and outmaneuvering local police forces. The security vacuum has left many Haitians living in fear, especially in areas like Pont Sandy where gang attacks have become more frequent and devastating. While international efforts have been initiated, questions linger about the adequacy of the response, given the scale of the crisis. The Haitian government faces immense pressure to deliver on its promises of justice and security, but with the ongoing violence, the path forward remains uncertain. International actors have expressed concern over the deteriorating conditions in Haiti, not just for the country's citizens, but for the broader implications it holds for regional stability. Haiti's location in the Caribbean and its deep-rooted economic and political struggles make the situation there more than just a local issue, it's a matter of global concern. The involvement of countries like the U.S. and Kenya highlights the increasing focus on Haiti's crisis, but without sufficient resources and sustained commitment, it's unclear how long it will take to see a meaningful reduction in violence. The international peacekeeping forces face a daunting task, and many are left questioning whether the current troop levels and strategy will be enough to bring an end to the bloodshed. As the violence rages on, displaced Haitians from Pont Sand and other areas continue to face the harsh reality of uncertainty and displacement. Many long for the day when they can safely return to their homes, but with armed gangs still controlling significant portions of the country, that hope is fading. For now, the victims of the Pont Sand massacre and the countless others affected by Haiti's gang violence await both justice and peace in a country that has seen too little of either in recent years. The road to recovery is long, and the international community's role in helping Haiti rebuild remains critical, but as of now, the outcome remains uncertain. Thank you for joining us on Africa Info Hub channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this analysis insightful, 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Stay tuned for more in-depth coverage on the geopolitical shifts shaping Africa and the world. Thanks for watching.